everybody and welcome to my apartment tour. So this year I decided to go to Western Oregon University. I was really lucky and one of the housing ladies found me this spot in the Arbor Park Apartments which is on campus housing which is great because it goes right in with my student loans and I don't have to pay a penny of it while I'm here. One of the housing ladies found me this apartment. I'm living in Spruce right now and there are three apartment buildings in the Arbor Park Apartments. So the center one is Noble, the one on the left is Spruce, and the one on the right is Cedar. And I was really lucky to get into Spruce because um, as you will see it has new furniture, there's new carpeting out in the living room, and we have um, faux hardwood floors that are like vinyl, but it, it really does make it feel nice. And in the other buildings, there's still um, old like blue carpeting and chairs and couches and stuff like that that look like they belong in like a hospital. I can't remember if we all got new mattresses this year or if it was just Spruce, but we did get brand new mattresses. So everything here, except for like the furniture, um, like the wood furniture is um, new. So this campus is really small, so it's not like it's um, really out of the way to live over here because we're kind of like on the edge of campus and um, everything else is kind of more inward and like Landers and Heritage and Ackerman are all close to the buildings where you have classes and all of that and the dining hall and the library it's pretty close but here's the thing it's also really close if you're here too it's it's you also get a lot of walking in I've been walking like at least three miles every day this whole week and I haven't even been doing like excessive walking you know I've just been like okay I'm gonna do this gonna do that and it's it's a really pretty campus so it's not um, like a burden to walk around so let's get into it so this is what you see when you approach the apartment so there's outside and then on the right here is Sequoia, which we do our community meetings in. And then here are all three of the buildings. And then that one right there is mine. This parking lot. And then there's that. There's the building. There's two entrances to every building. And there is look at how beautiful that is. I mean, it's really nice. I it it doesn't look like a prison. That's what we love about it. You know, there is the door. It was already open, but you will need to use your key fob. Then here is the entrance, bottom floor. You can go up the stairs to get to your room if you're on a top floor. Um, or you can use the elevator, whatever you want, but stairs give you more exercise. And there's, uh, there's the elevator right there, if you feel like using it. Here's my room with my no drama llamas because we have no drama in this apartment. Love that. And there is the apartment. So there's the bathroom, my roommate's room, and my room right there. And then on the right here we've got a utility closet we all use. On the left there's more bedrooms and then I just passed the other bathroom. Then this is our living room, that middle gray chair one of the roommates brought, but everything else was here. So this is the kitchen. We have a lot of stuff in here, um, but we've got a fridge and a stove that were supplied for us, and then all the other appliances we all brought, but there's a lot of storage space in this place. Like, in general, there's a lot of storage. But the kitchen is great. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff and we still have plenty of storage left. So we've got seven windows in total in this little living slash kitchen area and it's great. I love natural light. So here's my room. It's really, you know, empty. <laughs> There's me in the mirror, feeling myself, you know, as you do. And then I have this awesome little command hook that I put up um, right above the light switch. So when it hangs down, it touches the light switch. 
and then when I leave to turn the light off, I have to actually touch my key and I won't forget it. And then, look at that hardwood, it's so pretty. And then, here's my little bookshelf, and that was given to us, supplied for us. I just use that kind of for storage purposes. I've got food on the bottom, you know, got your carbs, got some beans, you know, got some oranges, I got some ginger ale, I thought it was cute at Walmart so I got it. And then I've got my makeup and that, and like some hair stuff, and then some face stuff, some books, and then a little hand lotion, it's just so cute. Got some more stuff, you know. Here's my desk, it's, you know, I could have organized better, but truly this is just what it looks like in my room. Um, I have cups because I enjoy drinks. We are going to close the window now because it's really loud outside. But anyways, there are my drawers. They're pretty messy as well. There's my thermostat. There's some posters, my little boys I made. I just drew those and hung them up with um, some embroidery floss. See? So I put like some little painter's tape, masking tape, whatever you want to call it, on there, and it will not rip the paint. There's a poster. Got those posters at the Utah bookstore in Bothell in Washington, and they're really cheap. There's under my bed. I just have some craft bins, that box for my fan, and another just miscellaneous storage bin. And I've got my hamper, which I brought, and my tripod. And then I did that with washi tape, um, which again, won't damage the walls. So see, it comes off just fine. It does not damage it and it's cute and cheap. So yeah, then I also have a cool little life hack. Get those car fresheners, you know, air fresheners, put it in your fan or your heater and it makes the room smell awesome. So here's my closet. It's really big. I moved my little chest of drawers in there just to like save space. And then those are my bins to throw away garbage. Got that at Target, that little hangy thing. And then those are also from Target, those hangers. And all my black clothing. My empty drawer. <laughs> um, that's where I just keep my jeans. That's just like shirts and stuff. And you know, it's, yeah, like my drawers are kind of messy right now, but I don't have time for that. So that's my little plant, my salt plant, and then I have a little orange tree growing in here. I put like a bunch of seeds in, and hopefully it grows. So um, this is the view from my window. It's really nice. You can see the stars at night. And then here is my bathroom that I share with my roommate next to me and just got like, you know, some shelves here. So again, just lots of storage. Those two are mine right there. Then here's our shower. And our bathroom has a tub in it. The other one does not. Um, and then they just slide like that. They're pretty nice. And then got a towel rack toilet, you know, everything the bathroom has. There's two mirrors, and then that mirror on the wall, oh, here's towels. There's a, that's my drawer. It, it actually holds a lot of stuff, surprisingly. Um, and then, uh, that doesn't open. And then this is just, like, cleaning supplies and, you know, toilet paper. And then this mirror right here opens up in this little medicine cabinet my roommate stuff and then those two bottom ones are mine um uh, me in the mirror again you know just having a good time because i didn't edit this out me again <laughs> and now i'm like playing with the mirrors because it's just i just felt like i needed it in the moment all right here's the hall again this is our little uh you know breaker box um don't play with that it's there not for you. Here's 
closet again. I'm gonna show you what's in it. So it's actually, like, humongous. Um, I don't have anything in there, but it's just a community closet. We can put, like, whatever in there. It's, it's honestly, like, so big. Okay. Here's the other bathroom. So this one's significantly bigger, so if you need um, a bigger bathroom, if you have like a wheelchair or something, this will be the one for you. And then it's got three drawers and two doors on Bandy. And then this does not have a tub, unfortunately, but it's pretty big. So yeah, that's it for the apartment tour, and I really hope that it was helpful for you. And if you aren't even thinking about moving in here and you just wanted some, you know, college inspiration or you're like eating cereal at 3 a.m. and watching this. So yeah, uh, I think that's it for me. Uh, I'm probably going to be uploading some more little vlogs and stuff like that in my journey while I'm here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will hit you with another video soon. Bye.